Hey guys. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but I would like to apologize for calling Schlatt the only good racist. It was stupid of me. I didn't really think about what I was saying. Because obviously, I also should have included Connor. There are two. <laughs> oh, what's up, chat? How's it going, everybody? What'd you do? I'll tell. I'll show you. Fucking Prezzo fucked me. A bunch of people on Twitter were upset because I said Jay Schlatt's the only good racist. Which is only because Prezzo's in my chat and it's a reference to a Prezzo tweet. That got like a hundred thousand likes where he said Schlatt is the only good racist. And so I said it, right? The exact clip I go, Schlatt's the only good racist. At least in the words of Prezzo. And a, like a couple people posted on Twitter, remove the last part, mind you, these fucks. They have a clip of me going, uh -uh. Schlatt's the only good racist. And then they cut where I said, at least in Prezzo's words. And then they go, why would Ludwig say this? And then they're, they have the audacity to go, there are no good racists. Hitler's bad. <laughs> Woo! So much progress is being made today. But here's, here's, here's where, uh, you know what? Maybe the people on Twitter, some of them are going a bit far. And I think the problem isn't that, because I think people are using Twitter as some sort of community board, as if it's not broadcast to the entire world. And I don't think it's completely negligent because I understand posting the clip and being like, hey, Lud what did Ludwig mean when he said Schlatt's the only good racist? And then someone else is like, oh, it's just a reference to a Prezzo tweet. D don't read into it too much. I get that. But Twitter's a bad platform for it because one, you know, asking it to, a, to the entire internet doesn't make as much sense as just asking like a group chat of people. What did I miss? Look, here's proof. That Ludwig still associates with Carson. Saved. You want to know who told me that the Carson video is playing? Carson. <laughs> Send me a text. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, I'll, I'll turn that off. Good call, Carson. This is during the subathon where I was auto-playing my own YouTube videos. And then I was playing a Twitch Jeopardy. And then it auto-played the other Twitch Jeopardy I have with Carson. And then... Carson is the one who sent me a text when I was upstairs because you know how during the subathon I'd play a video and leave He was like one of my videos is playing on your stream. You should turn that off And I was like, oh, okay, and then I went downstairs and I turned it off and then I told chat because you know me I'm, I'm I'm as transparent as a button if it happens. I, I tells you what happens oh, Rather than like lying through my teeth and being like no, 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 no I, I actually contacted Verizon. I, I, I made I made it so Carson could never message me ever again kept it a stack and this is what i think is fucked up it's not about any of this but the thing is this came because whoever this person is saw the clip about me calling schlatt the only good racist and then searched for more things that i did that wouldn't align with you know just general progressive twitter progressive twitter is a bad word to use almost because i feel like it, it puts a disparaging name on progressives of progressivism but look, it's crazy because I've never seen this clip until last night when I was investigating. <laughs> Fucking deep throat. It's journalism. Modern journalism. Investigating, bro. 
my God. And I, I, I just think it's so disingenuous to post this on Twitter, not so that you can share with your followers to get any sort of context, but knowing full well it has the chance to be seen by more people than you have reached to without the context of, of what it was about. It's, it's, uh, it, I think it's intentionally malicious. Uh, and just because you don't have a large following doesn't mean you can't be intentionally malicious posting on the internet. I feel like people know full well the capabilities of what they're doing. But anyway, I don't want this to be attacked, by the way, boys. You know? Uh, great journalism. Keep it up. Honestly, I support journalism. Independent journalism, I support it. But yeah. Here's here's the tea. Uh, Carson, all the shit came out. I talked to all of his friends and my friends, Schlack Connor, saw what was up. And then I reached out to Carson and I was like, hey man, uh, d don't kill yourself. Because that would, that would suck regardless. He's like, yeah, I won't. Didn't talk. One of his videos played on my stream. He was like, hey, one of my videos is playing on your stream. I was like, okay, that's not a great look. Thanks. Took it off. And then a month later, bang. Oh, they deleted the tweet. <laughs> Silencing all dissenters. That is how we rise to the top, boys. Silencing the dissenters. You are posting on the internet in a public forum. You have to understand that. Look, at the end of the day, I can't sue you for libel because I'm a public figure and public figures can only be sued for libel if there's intentional malice in the posts, even if they're incorrect or disparaging, which this one was, you know, worded delicately enough so that they could avoid any of that. But, you know, you got to understand what you're doing here. It's not helpful. Investigating. What the fuck is a good racist? They got the joke. They got the joke. It doesn't exist. All racists are bad. It's not a real thing. Woo! Prezzo's gonna end my goddamn career. All I did was reference a Prezzo tweet. And then bang. The, the, the most... The grossest part, the most disgusting part, would be people replying to the tweets being like, man, I always knew something was up. Like, what are you out here? They're just waiting, right? They're just like, oh, fuck. Let we do some shit today? <laughs> oh, fuck. I always knew something was up. Hey, what now? What now? What what do you know now? Come out instead of holding the info. Where's the investigations? I always knew.